All right. Uh, we're Group 12. This is Casper. I'm Steen. And um, during this project, we've, uh, we've built a small computer on this uh, course-provided board uh, and uh, loaded uh, our card trick program onto it. Um, what we've done is uh, built memory, keyboard handling, and um, a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter device onto, onto the board so we can, we can load our program onto it, uh, run it on the, on the board, get input from a uh, USB connected keyboard, uh, and we use the, uh, the connected PC to display our code. Okay, so you mentioned that you build those components. Is yeah. it only the components or is it a whole PC that runs? It's a whole PC that runs. Um, the, the framework for the PC was provided by the course and on top of that we've, we've built uh, a working computer. So basically you are provided with the CPU? Yes, yeah, the CPU was provided, yeah. And the I.O. was something you made yourself? Yeah. Uh, we'd like to uh, run the program and, uh, and take you through it. It's a, it's a card trick involving um, finding and placing any card in a 27-card in a deck uh, in a, a clever mathematical way. Um, I don't know if we should uh, move the camera closer to the screen. Yeah, I can. Yeah. The program uh, asks you to enter a, a number between 1 and 27. And we use a keyboard connected to our computer, a uh, mini computer here. Um, what you use 15. Oh, sorry. There we go. Number 15. And we're presented with three piles of nine cards in each. Uh, the program never knows which card we're trying to find. Uh, that is to ensure that no you know, variable save trickery is, is done to, to cheat. Let's say we'll follow um, the, uh, the Ace of Hearts, which is in pile two. So we'll click two. The uh, behind scenes, uh, the three piles are gathered and then dealt again. We find our card, the Ace of Hearts, which is... Pile 3. Pile 3. Mm -hmm. Is it? Pile 1. one. Okay. Right. There it is. I saw it wrong. Okay. And one last time. Heart, uh, in pile 1 again. Okay. And now, the, the, uh, the program is finished, the trick is done. And now the, uh, the uh, Ace of Hearts should be underneath our number, 15. Now, this is to represent that if we've done it in, uh, in real time, in, in the real world, uh, I could count off a uh, card from the top of the deck, and when I hit 15, it would be the Ace of Hearts, if that was the card that had been chosen at random, corresponding to the number chosen at the beginning. And that is the trick, to, to find any card and place it anywhere within the deck. And how did you do it? Yeah. <laughs> What's the trick? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll start it over. And um, we'll uh, pick a number again. Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to pick uh, the same number, 15 actually. 15, okay. Yeah. We'll enter 15. And I'll deal out. You, you, you pick a card. Yes. Show it to the camera. You remember yeah, the card? Let me sh make sure that you can see it actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anywhere. Mix it up. And you, you find the, the card in the box there. Okay, the same pile. Don't press the number yet. And then, we'll do the trick here as well. Which one? It's in this part. That one. Uh, it's this, the piles are not the same. So, well, on on the machine, the piles in uh, the card is in pile number one. Yeah. All right. Okay. The second time. In this one. Okay. And on the program, uh, my card is in pile two. Okay. And the final time. Um, Let, let's see it on the computer first. Yeah, on the computer. So My the card should be uh, eight of clubs. Yes. Now, I'm a little faster there. If I, if I did it correctly, I can count down to 
15, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that is, that should be the, uh, that the is cards. the card I started with. Place that the 15 card from the top, as yep. the screen shows. That is the card tree. Now, the dealing into the piles uh, reduces the, uh, the uh, starting out, the, the card tree can be any one in 27. Once we've dealt the card out into uh, three piles of eight of nine, we reduce that to one, of, uh, one out of nine. The second dealing is uh, one out of three, and then finally, uh, one out of one. And to uh, let, Let's talk a bit more about the technical part. The so The technical part, yeah. the, the way we've done this. Okay. So uh, what runs on the PC? And what runs on the computer that you build yourselves? Well, nothing runs on the PC. Um, I, I see that window on the. That's true. Yeah, the com a command prompt is used to to output um, uh, output text from the uh, program running on the FPGA. Yeah. And how is that text showing up on the PC if you are running it on your computer? It's sent through the. Uh, it's a, it's a USB connection, but it's done through the. Serial uh, port. Yeah. Serial port. Yeah, it's a serial port handler, but the, the connection is USB. And it's done by the uh, the asynchronous, uh, the universal asynchronous uh, transmitter receiver element, the uh, UART. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's our program. Yeah, thanks.